Hey guys, I've recently started experimenting with applying AI into my skill model photography. And honestly, I've gotten some really cool results so far. So in this video, let's create one of these images together. The very first thing of course we'll need is a skill model to photograph. Now that this lovely M48 pattern is built through the power of editing in just mere minutes, I took it outside and took some pictures of it in broad daylight. We'll be using the Generative Fill AI feature of the current Photoshop beta. Let's pick an angle of one of these pictures that looks cool and we'll drag it into Photoshop. So the first thing we'll need to do is to cut out the tank from the scene. Now while I'm cutting this out I wanted to tell you guys something to keep in mind with this Photoshop AI is that it tries to match its generated content with your image. So don't expect the AI to be able to make a dark evening scene around a brightly lit object for instance. So you want to think about what kind of setting you want in your pictures before you shoot them. And since this is a M48 which is famous for its service in Vietnam, I'm thinking a nice jungle setting would be fitting. So now that our tank is cut out, we'll select all the negative space and give the text prompt a first try. Let's start with a simple Vietnam jungle prompt. Alright, alright, that's not a bad first batch. It looks like a jungle, it doesn't match the scene at all, but still. Let's give it a little bit more to work with and add the word road to the prompt. Okay, at least it ditched the water, but it's still pretty vague. Let's try something more like palm trees and muddy road and hit generate. Now we're talking. This looks way cooler already. Let's start with this result as a basis. Now if you notice, the AI automatically tries to blend the edges of whatever selection you make, giving some wacky results. Uh, let's hide the tank and generate some terrain behind it and around it to get rid of that effect. There, that's much better. Another thing I notice is that the road is way too wet. Especially since the tracks on the underside of the tank are quite dry. Uh, let's fix this by selecting the road and adding some mud. Perfect. Now as a finishing touch, let's just fill up some of the empty area in the background with some thick distant jungle as a prompt. And there we go, I say our generated image looks pretty badass at this point. From this point onward you can add any kind of filters you want or do some color tweaking just like I do here. And then without any further ado, let's look at the final result. I'd say that's a pretty cool result. I've generated a few more backgrounds for some of the other shots I made of the same tank which also look pretty badass if you ask me. So yeah, the possibilities are pretty much endless with this AI stuff, which is really cool. Although I do think nothing beats a handcrafted diorama. If you want to see more of these AI enhanced skill model pictures, you can check me out on Instagram at, at DutchGuyMakesModels. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this technique and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.